Welcome to Merit and Life Stories with Kan Simi. It's always a pleasure to have you, the returning guests. Thank you so much. And to all the new guests, thank you so much for coming to this channel. And um, if you like these videos and you feel there is information of benefit to you, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and please drop us a comment and let us know how you feel about the information we are giving you. Today's topic is, um, what did I do to break out of a curse, to break out of poverty and be the kind of person that I am today? Well, I know some of you are going to say you worked so hard and you did so many things, you studied, you got a degree and you have a, a fantastic job. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's not all about that. If you remember from my previous videos, one of the videos was about um, a child crisis, my crisis at age 13, and then my identity dilemma, and things spiraled out of hand. And that uh, even when I got married to, to my husband 30 years back, Yes, I've been married for 30 years, and uh, at the moment I am 53 years, so I am not such a young person. By the grace of God, I appreciate that number of years. And so, as I shared with you uh, that time when I was facing all those challenges, my life was moving from bad to bad to worse, and there was such a time when I felt that um, I had lost it that there was nothing, anything good that was happening in my life. And so when I was about to, to give up on life, I remember I had just gotten married and uh, I, I didn't even wear maternity dress like women do. I remember my husband got me one, one big dress that uh, I used to wear for my children. And then um, I would wrap myself in a, in a lesson. And things were really bad. And I, I, we had no food to eat. There was nothing interesting in the home. And, and we were there, suffering, living in one small room. It was, you know, I call it the, the self-contained room that we had because it had, um, it was uh, one small square room, one part, uh, half of it, uh, we put our small bed. I think it was a four by six. We put a small bed in one part of the house and in the next part of the house we put uh, about two dining chairs where our visitors could sit and um, in the other corner there was a small cupboard a very small cupboard where we used to keep our cups and everything and yes that was the house nothing more meanwhile we had uh, our first child we had our first child and um, she was born and then we, 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 we were struggling. The struggle was really bad. Those are times that when you think about them, you don't want to remember anything. You just want to block them out of your mind and move on with life. And, uh, but unfortunately, it is those times when you remember them that build you up, that make you stronger, that give you the courage. And that is the more reason why I am talking to you right now. If you happen to be in the same situation that I am in, I guarantee you things can be different. Where, what has happened since that time? I have moved. I remember I, 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 I had studied a degree, a diploma in education and um, for one reason or the other, I had refused to go back to study a degree because um, of the circumstances that made me miss to study the degree in the first place. And so why I got married, I went, I studied the degree and uh, I did these three things, three things to break out of poverty, to break out of curses, to break out of of, uh, you know, like you're sick. I remember one time I looked at my skin, it had turned black. 
completely black with rashes. And so I used to wear a, 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 a black jacket and, you know, long sleeved and I would wear a long sleeved, uh, a, a, a long skirt. And I would go to the doctor and they would tell me there's nothing wrong with you. We have checked your blood, there's nothing wrong. We have checked everything. That reason why you are suffering with this kind of skin diseases, my face had pimples, very ugly, painful pimples. And you know, I, I really looked so horrible. And so the doctor told me that until you sit down and calm down and think about what is happening in your life, and then you will be fine. Then he would tell me, oh, it's just stress. It's just stress, nothing more. And uh, I went back home. I went back home. I had just, um, my child was coming to two years. The suffering was too much. The poverty was too much. And so I decided to do these three things. They were the winners. These three things that I did, and make sure you don't miss number three. I did these three things and they they catapulted me from if I was under minus, ground minus, they catapulted me from ground minus to ground 10. What are these three things that I did that broke the curse and the poverty and the sicknesses of my life? Number one. I came to a point when I decided to forget about everything that happened to me and focus on God. I decided to focus on God. I decided to give him everything about me. I decided to yield. Now, when I yielded my life to God, so many things in my life changed. The chains that were holding, I could see them break. And then I went to number two. Level number one is a smaller one. I mean, you can choose to uh, accept Jesus and trust him to save you. I went to number two. Don't miss number three, because number three is the chain breaker. Now, number two, I gave up, okay? I gave up every anger that I had in my heart and decided to release every pain that I had to this good that I had given. Of course, it, it doesn't come so easy. I, for, I, I, for, I, I made a deliberate choice and surrendered. Now, when I surrendered, there's so many sicknesses that were holding me, which had created so much stress on my life. They all left. The rush on my body left. The wrinkles that had come on my face, they all left. The skin was peeling. You know, it was too much. The, the, the panic attacks that were really on my nerves, they all left. And then I did the biggest step, which was number three. There was one particular person that hurt me. And uh, I was so hurt so deeply. I was hurt to the bone that, you know, when you, instead of crying and the tears come through your eyes, you cry and it is your heart that is crying and bleeding and the tears are sinking deeper and deeper inside. There was no way I thought I could ever forgive that person. I chose to forgive. Forgiving this person took me four good years. I made a choice to forgive, but I remained with a pain. And every day that I would wake up, I would plead with God. I would say, God, please, I decided to forgive. Why don't you help me to overcome this pain that I'm experiencing right now in my life? 
four years down the road, I think God saw my, my, my willingness of the heart to forgive. And he gave me the Holy Spirit who helped me to forgive completely and to overcome the pain that I was experiencing. The moment I forgave this person, there are so many things that unlocked. Heaven had my prayers. God sent his angels to come and help me. Blessings started coming in. The person that felt I lacked favor in my life, favor came. The person who was rejected, I was accepted once again. And when all of these things happened, I got jobs. My businesses peaked. Actually, I didn't have any businesses. I started businesses and the businesses grew. And so many blessings came my way. What am I saying to you? If you feel things are not working out for you, you feel you are rejected, you are hated, you know things work out the wrong way. You go to the uh, place where they are serving cake and for you cake is finished. You go to a function and, and, and you know chairs, they are giving chairs and there are no more chairs for you. It is you that has nowhere to sit. Things always end. You know, they serve cake. When they come to you, the cake is finished. You are on the line picking food. And when you get there, the, the, plate, the plates are finished. You don't take those things as simple things. Just do the three things that I did. Number one, um, choose to focus on the will of God for your life. Number two, make a deliberate choice to stop hating. Number three, forgive. Forgive, forgive, and forgive. I thank you so much. I look forward to hearing your testimonies. And God bless you and bless you so much. Uh, kindly subscribe if you like this video. If you feel it is helping you, subscribe, like, and give a comment. See you another time. Bless you.